see one or two more still still coming in, which is fantastic. OK, I'm going to make a start because uh, I think it's important to get things going uh, reasonably promptly. Uh, so if we just crack on to the first slide. So my name is Julian Bryan. I'm the executive chairman here at Quill. And today I'm joined by Doug Convery. Doug is one of our team of sales uh, consultants. And if we just flick on to the next slide, thank you. So I'm really delighted to be kicking off this, this, this week of uh, webinars. We've got a, a whole week uh, of webinars uh, lined up for you starting today, uh, Halloween uh, day, uh, where we're going to be sharing with you and our partners will be sharing with you uh, a lot of new uh, functionality. So today it's all about MyQuill. Uh, tomorrow, we've got uh, a session on forms integration, followed on Wednesday by a session uh, with bundle docs and, and creating your court bundles, and on Thursday, uh, legal payments. So if you haven't registered for any of those topics and, and want to, uh, then uh, there are links on our website uh, to go to and you can register. And I'd recommend that you register either as you're an existing Quill client um, or indeed your uh, potential uh, new Quill client. And you may well wish to have a look at what else we have to, to offer. Um, but today it's going to be all about uh, my Quill. So on the next slide, just a, a moment about housekeeping. I'm sure you're all uh, uh, pros at webinars by now. Um, uh, if you do have any questions or queries, uh, you do pop in a, a query into the uh, question box within uh, within Teams. Uh, I've got colleagues on standby in the background to keep an eye on the questions, uh, and we'll either pick them up uh, on the way through the webinar, uh, or failing that, we will pick them up at the end. Um, or indeed, um, if they're a bit too complicated, <laughs> we will we'll deal with them um, offline uh, uh, later on today or, or tomorrow. OK, so on the next slide, thank you. Um, so just a word or two about Quill. Most of you who know us will know this already, but those of you that uh, are joining uh, this webinar as a non-Quill customer, uh, just, to, just a, a word or two about us. Um, we are probably the largest independently owned, privately owned um, software providers in the legal software and service sector. Uh, we pride ourselves on, on being uh, fiercely independent. We are very much a one-stop shop. Uh, so uh, at the heart of the business, we have 800, 850 uh, or so law firms using our accounts and practice management and case management software. Uh, we embellish that and support that with our outsourcing services, which cover outsource cashiering, outsource payroll, outsource typing. And we've been doing that for well, 45 years or nearly 45 years. Our 45th birthday comes up in, in, in January, just in the, in the new year. Um, and our MyQuill software solution that we're going to be drilling into in a moment or two is, is presented as a modular based system so that you can uh, purchase and use uh, what you want as you want. It's almost a, a pick and mix, pay as you go uh, facility. So many people we talk to these days uh, buy a, an all singing or dancing software package on a, on a, on a one price fits all uh, basis and only use 25, 30, 40 percent of the software. So we take a different approach, which says uh, you, you take the modules that you want. You can build up those modules uh, as you require. And that works for our customer base, which ranges in size from the sole practitioner with just one user uh, license up to um, um, a large firm with in excess of 500 users. OK, so thank you. So our agenda today, um, I just want to talk a bit about some of the research that we've done, um, how we went about um, researching what users want of a piece of software today. Uh, and then Doug's going to go into the seven key areas of, of feedback um, that we've experienced. Um, and then we'll pick up any questions uh, at the end and talk about um, your next steps that you should be taking uh, following today. So, MyQuill, which is a name for our 
our, 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 this version of our software has been very much developed in, in close cl collaboration uh, with, with law firm users. And what we've done over the course of the last 18 months or so is, is talk to firms uh, and individual users, users of Quill's products and non-users of Quill products and previous users of Quill's products to understand what it is that they really need in this, in this new era if you like, of, of, of business life, where we're spending much more time uh, at home and there's a much more uh, stronger focus on digital uh, requirements uh, of, uh, of running um, a, a, a legal business, or in fact, any business, but a, but a legal business. Now, we're not going to go into a full-blown demonstration today. Uh, if you want a full-blown demonstration of the product, then we can certainly arrange that, either as a prospective user of Quill, uh, and we can spend a couple of hours going through the minutiae, uh, or if you've recently moved to my Quill and you've still got one or two uh, questions or queries, we have a customer success team on hand to to help you through that uh, as well. We've got a back office uh, software development team um, of nigh on uh, 20 staff, uh, and that team uh, are very much agile in, in focus. And if there are changes along the way that we feel that we need, we can, we can make those changes and release those changes very, very quickly uh, to accommodate uh, new trends and, and, and new requirements uh, of, of users. But the key point is that we've been very much listening to our users and, and basing our, our product based on, on, on those views. Uh, just on to the next slide. And of course, you may have um, spotted um, some news about my quill in the press. Uh, we launched, officially launched the product in the press uh, in September uh, through the, the orange rag. Uh, and here we are today in October, just at the end of October, um, uh, running this particular uh, webinar. So without any further ado, I'm going to hand over to Doug and Doug will, will take you through just seven uh, key areas um, uh, in terms of where we've been thinking and listening. Doug, over to you. All right, thank you, Julian. Um, we asked for your feedback, uh, so we'd like to share with you the feedback, what the feedback was and what we've done about it. The following key developments have been identified and implemented to ease the pains within your law firm, making working a lot more efficient. So firstly, feedback point number one was accessing the information I need quickly and easily. You told us that everyone needs to access the information quickly and easily. Asking people to do things such as run reports can be time consuming and a waste of more than one person's time, not to mention things like hidden costs. So moving on to the next slide, here's what we've done. This is our new dynamic dashboard, which allows users to see what they need at the click of a button, such things as unpaid bills, time, case stats, with reports available anytime, anywhere, information available in seconds, saving on printing costs, and even less walking around the office to things like printers, etc. Management stats available for individual users and firm wide. You really have a key overview of what's going on in the business and ensuring targets are being met. We've also done some diagnostics and made key functionality available on quick links. No matter where you are within the system, you could do something like uh, Create a new client, raise an e-chip, electronic posting slip, um, record time. And as you can see as well on the left-hand side here, people already using this system have given us some very positive feedback. Obviously, this is just a screen grab. And as Julian mentioned, we've been more than happy to give you a full uh, run through of, of this part of the system and the, indeed the rest of the system. Details will be available on how to book a demo at the end, end of this presentation. And just moving on to the next slide, feedback point number two was around uh, you need to make sure you, you meet a range of complex deadlines and deliver tasks required by key dates. With this in mind, we've recently released our organizer. This has been developed by our team with many years of experience working in and understanding case stages and requirements. Um, on this next slide here, this is a screen grab of the organizer. This shows you uh, one element of the organizer. The, the organizer itself actually is made up of key aspects, such things as key dates, milestones, task lists, timeline views. So you can see a case from start to finish and what needs to be done when. Also assignees, you can assign stuff to different users, more than one user, and you can track who's who's been assigned what. There's also warning limits within the system. Um, so with all the key elements, including actually there is a supervisor watch function, so you can ensure that users have full understanding where each case is at, what needs to be completed, completed by key dates, ensuring nothing is missed. 
So it really is a, new, a valuable tool to the business. Um, moving on to the next slide, feedback point number three was around managing documents and emails. So let me introduce you to our new document management tool, DocsHub. DocsHub gives you a quick and easy access to all your file requirements wherever you are. You, can, you are complete with Microsoft Office integration. DocsHub's Easy View history shows multiple file types all in one place, I meaning you can easily access your documents wherever you are. And with its quick preview, you can view a document in seconds. You don't just have to open it in Word or Excel or anything like that. There's also quick document uploads, meaning you don't waste time getting external documents into the system. DocsHub also has the ability to run template letters and documents, um, saving time and obviously ensuring accuracy and things like that. You don't want to be getting someone's name or address wrong when, by just overtyping in previous documents. There's also built in version control. So you can see and manage your document changes, access previous versions if you need to. It also includes automated email filing with full Microsoft Office integration. This will increase your productivity and save you significant time. Actually, um, speaking of time, we did do a study that indicated that about a third of time is lost on documents and emails that aren't time recorded. So what we've done within our Docs Hub is built in automatic time recording on emails and documents. I think this really is a great feature because it allows you to uh, capture more time and that's then available for billing. Again, we can go uh, further into further detail around Docs Hub and uh, the other areas of the system and you can just book a demo at the end of this presentation. Um, I'm just going to briefly pass you back to Julian, who's just going to go through some of the security aspects around Quill. OK, thanks, Doug. Um, uh, I think the whole topic of cybersecurity is is very much uh, top of mind at the moment. I think the um, both the Home Secretary and uh, the last pre, uh, Prime Minister have got some cybersecurity concerns uh, top of their their, their agenda uh, at the moment. Uh, but so too have most of the um, PI insurance companies, and I think many many uh, law firms are, are finding quite a challenge when it comes to PI renewal. Uh, uh, at the moment, and, and one of the drivers for that is is uh, cybercrime uh, and the need to stay uh, cyber secure. So, if we move on to the next slide, Doug, please. Um, one of the two areas, rather, that we have focused on. Uh, one is the platform that, that that we use here at Quill, and secondly is what we have actually built into the to the product. So, from a platform perspective, we're using one of the probably the, one of the world's uh, best um, data centres for um, storing uh, data. It's ISO two seven double oh one compliant. Uh, UK-based data centres, because we have two, we have a primary data centre and a backup data centre. Um, in those uh, data centres, data is replicated uh, and encrypted, both in, in uh, transmission and, and, and at rest. We also make sure that uh, we have what's called, called pen tests carried out regularly. Now, a pen test is a penetration test, uh, which is basically checking that all the doors and windows that you say you have got locked are locked. Uh, and we employ a um, specialist company to test the locks effectively, to use that analogy, to, to make sure that uh, there are no back doors or, or holes in our security uh, system. Um, and that is carried out on a, on a regular basis. And of course, uh, the other aspect of, of that security is staff, uh, and all our staff have to uh, carry out uh, regular training uh, to ensure that based on their role, uh, they understand the, the importance of, of security. And, and a government sponsored initiative is Cyber Essentials, something that uh, is, is a great accreditation scheme that every law firm should be thinking about adopting, let alone every, every IT company. Quill is Cyber Essentials accredited. Uh, we're audited uh, every 12 months to ensure that our, our systems and our people uh, actually fulfil uh, the requirements of the, the, the government-sponsored uh, Cyber Essentials programme. 
And then at the personal data level, uh, we are GDPR compliant, both in terms of our, our processes and procedures as a data processor uh, on your behalf as a, as a, as a data controller. Uh, and we also, of course, within that, uh, stay within the GDPR framework uh, from a legal perspective, ensuring in particular uh, that if you ever get to the point where you leave us, that your data, which is your data, is, is securely uh, deleted uh, once and for all. Now, within the product of my quill, uh, we've got built in MFA, another acronym for you, multi-factor authentication. Effectively, it's the it's the the, the texting of a of a six digit code to your uh, to your phone or your your second device to ensure that it really is you that is logging into the system. So that gives you the security that you need and the confidence you need and the confidence your your insurers need uh, to ensure that you are uh, running a secure system. You can, of course, uh, customize the roles of your staff and, and give those roles uh, only certain access to certain parts of the system uh, so that your fee earners have only access to the fee earning aspects of the system, whereas your senior managers can have a look at a more global uh, reporting uh, of the system and, and, and financial performance of the system. Uh, from a compliance perspective, as part of the onboarding process, uh, you can, out of the box, um, uh, ensure that your new clients are money laundered on the way through with, with, with passport number checks, with driving license number checks, flash insurance number checks, uh, etc. Uh, and we also provide a, uh, again, out of the box feature called Money Chain, where whenever you are uh, looking to move money, you can check the, uh, the the client's sort code and account number and make sure that they are integrous and, 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 and are one and the same, belong to the right, the right person. And of course, from a compliance perspective, we have a number of management information reports to ensure that you are uh, keeping on top of your cases, number of cases open, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And every month uh, now, we have something like 240,000 cyber compliance secure logins to ensure that people are logging into our software and our whole platform in a safe and secure manner. Back to you, Doug. Great, thanks, Julian. That's really interesting on that. Um, just moving on to the next point, um, it's around access to the systems on the go. Obviously, our world is increasingly going 24-7, whether we like it or not. Um, you told us that you needed reliable access all the time, so here's what we've done to address this. So, obviously, we're all increasingly on our phones, so we've focused on our, improving our mobile app. Um, creating new and additional functionality, given access to time recording on the move, access to documents and financial information. You'll have all the information you need basically at the, your fingertips on your phone. Also, additionally, you can see things like case and client details, things like you can be viewed along with KPI stats and business stats. So basically, wherever you are, you always have your finger on the pulse, as mentioned. Um, interestingly, this is actually available as part of the main quill, so there's no additional cost to this uh, piece of uh, the app, the mobile app. Moving on to feedback point number six, um, a really vital, important area of, of the business, obviously. Everyone needs to know what's going on in the business. It's only natural that you need to know about your time and your money across the practice. Um, Quite rightly, Quill is an accounts first product. We recognise that without having a client centric overview of your firm's money on both office and client accounts, there's a great risk that you will fall foul of the regulator's accounts rules. I mean, this could well could easily lead to the firm being closed or individuals being struck off. So obviously we don't want that. Of course, this is equally relevant across all jurisdictions operating in Scotland and Ireland, as well as England and Wales. Just onto the next slide. Um, this is actually a screen grab of the time ledger within Quill or the timesheet, uh, but there are many ar areas to Quill's money and time functionality, all vitally important. Um, I suppose, after all, time is your currency, really, in terms of generating your revenue. Um, my Quill is a full read only access to the account system. You have full transparency of the finances at case and firm level. Let electronic chits, so payment requests, can be raised for payment requests and with full authorization, payments can be made easily and transparently. There's also the ability to raise bills and produce bill templates, either standard and fixed bill fee bills can be produced and raised on Quill. 
and along with Quill's integration with uh, Legal, I don't know if you've heard of that, but we integrate with Legal's payment platform, your cash flow can easily be managed. Additionally, Quill is also compliant with making tax digital, as you'd expect. Um, I mentioned earlier that we've done some uh, check on time recording, time can, on the back of documents and emails. Uh, additionally, there's a fee and a timesheet, which we're looking at here. There's also stopwatches available, so it gives the user all the tools they need to capture the time. Again, after all, as we mentioned, time is your main re revenue stream. Um, moving on to the next area, which is really around support and assistance ongoing with our client base. Um, we often hear people saying they can't speak to real humans. Um, after all, people want to speak to people and not machines. So with a variety of ways to contact Quill for assistance and our online knowledge base, you can be reassured that assistance is never far away. We use the blend of support tools from speaking on the phone, emailing and online assistance. All this is backed up with help and training videos that are available to all users. And we are committed to continued support. This is a key component of our business because we recognise that helping hand is a very important to businesses and such we have a large pool of highly trained staff ready to support you as and when needed. Um, we're getting towards the end of the webinar now. I'm just going to pass you back to Julian who would do some summaries of what we've discussed so far. Um, over to you, Julian. Brilliant, thanks Doug. And of course, the idea of today was just to whet your appetites in terms of uh, what was available in, in, in my quill. And I think we can sum it up uh, with these five five things. Um, the first point is access anytime, anywhere. So cloud-based product, no matter where you are, no matter what device you've got in front of you, uh, you can log into log into my quill um, on your mobile, on your on your tablet, uh, on your full-blown desktop, uh, day or night, bedroom, dining room, office, car, wherever, um, and, and you can access the product accordingly. And, and we have this big dilemma between accessibility and security and something we'll be talking about again in this um, uh, webinar on the 16th of November with, with Google. But, but, but with that, um, that accessibility comes a challenge of, of security and, and uh, we have got this, this security framework which, which gives you the confidence that you can log in and use something which is, which is as safe and secure uh, as can be. You've got the third thing you've got is this this whole um, choice um, from account software through to practice management software through to document management software and of course now a, a case management software with a, with, a, with a comprehensive task management system available uh, to you and, and that is available through our new organizer as Doug has said. And we don't charge a, a one price fits all uh, model. Um, you can choose just to take the accounts or take the accounts plus the document management system uh, or add on to that the organizer uh, as a third choice or indeed our, our cashiering services or our, our payroll services uh, as you as you might require. Uh, so you've got this complete flexibility in terms of what you buy uh, as number four. And and finally, um, we, we have a big focus on compliance. Um, of course, as, as Doug has already said, you know, it's making sure that your your client account is is in is in good order is is effectively what keeps the doors of your practice open. Uh, and without having the uh, that, that compliance centric functionality, uh, particularly within your legal accounts uh, software, uh, you have great risk of, of falling foul of the of, of the regulator. So next slide, please, Doug. I think there's 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 two groups of of people on today's webinar from looking at the registrations that we've seen. Uh, there are those of you that are seeking um, out a, a a new product to 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 run your uh, law firm, um, and and Quill may well be that 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 choice. If you are interested in a in a deeper dive into all of the functionality that Doug has just touched the surface with. Uh, then do give us a shout on um, our phone number 0161 2910 or probably these days it's going to be an email to sales at or if you're not quite ready for that then then pop along to our website um, where you can find out more about the product uh, and book a dem uh, online or come back and and uh, send us send us an email uh, to that, that email address if you're already 
um, a Quill user. Well, next slide, please, Doug. Um, you're already a MyQuill user. You've moved over in the last couple of months um, and you want to get a bit more out of the product, some of this new functionality that we've been that we've been introducing, uh, then our client success team are, are ready and waiting for you. Uh, their email address is myquill at quill.co.uk, where you can talk to real human beings over a real telephone line, um, and they will give you um, some uh, tips and guides on, on what to do and how to do, and you can give them your feedback on, on what you found good, what you found, what you found bad. And they will also point you in the direction of our knowledge base, uh, where we've got a whole library of training videos and documents and articles uh, to help you get the best out of the, out of the product. So at that point, any questions from anybody, pop them into the uh, chat. There's been a couple of questions um, I've uh, had sent to me uh, during the course of the webinar uh, by a couple of people. Uh, Doug, I'm going to get you to um, uh, answer these, these for the moment, at least. And, and uh, the first one is, what does it cost? Yeah, no, no problem. Um, initially, initial cost are £25 per user from £25 per user per month. So um, just get hold of us and we can discuss the requirements and start start from there. Hope OK, so that's perfect. £25 a user uh, per month. OK, starting at £25 a user per month. Perfect. Thanks, Doug. Um, somebody said that uh, I think I, I sort of know in the industry, I think I know where this has come from. Do I need separate account software? Ah, right. OK, no, absolutely not. Um, Quill is one system, so one database under that. So all your accounts and like I mentioned earlier in the in the, the webinar that uh, you from my quill, you get a read only view of the account system, but also from the account side, you have your full office client, any deposit accounts you may require all available, all in one database. OK, so let's be clear, you don't have, need a bolt on a uh, package to do your office or accounts or anything like that. It's all within one system. Obviously, that makes things a lot easier in terms of management reports, day to day processing, etc. OK, perfect. Thank you, Doug. Any more questions? Any, any, any questions out there? I've got one, one more. Um, Right, this is, an this is an interesting question. I've had uh, a question from somebody in New York. Uh, we really are. And uh, uh, I should say before before even reading the rest of the question, we, 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 uh, we have clients not only in, in New York, we have clients in the Falkland Islands, we have clients in, in the Middle East um, and in, in, in Singapore. And we actually, at the start of the, um, the Ukraine war, we, we part of our cyber essentials um, accreditation, we did a scan of where people were logging in from. We had people logging in, uh, one or two people logging in from Kiev as well uh, at, at the time. So the question this this chat this, this individual is is um, is asking is uh, let me just read the question. Um, can I integrate this platform across my four offices? Uh, I just can't handle yet another piece of software. Right. OK, so, Doug, if I'm, I'm going to just take this this question. Yeah, go on. Well be say, we, need please. To, Thanks. we need to talk to to talk to this individual um, offline. But but just to give you people a, a, a flavor, um, you could choose to have uh, one database with one login and you could have your New York office, your Madrid office and your London office as, as three separate branches of your of your system. Um, we do have that as a configuration that you could look at. Um, you talk about you can't handle yet more software. Well, we do also have what's called an API. An API is, uh, is, is functionality that allows you to integrate uh, your platform with other software. And for those of you that don't know it, that we have a number of um, uh, customers, probably nigh on 100 customers, 100 firms, 
that integrate with a specialist case management system to deal with um, uh, conveyancing, or a number of specialist case management systems to deal with conveyancing. There's, there's, there's three that we that we particularly integrate with and a, and a couple of other smaller ones. So um, there are lots of opportunities to, to use Quill at its core financial uh, level uh, and then use a, a third party specialist case management system if that's what you require. So the individual who has raised this question will we'll reach out to you following today to go into more detail of your specific requirements. But I think we can we can certainly help you and I'm delighted to have you uh, online here from um, uh, from across the pond. In that same vein, I've got one other question that's just popped in, which I, I will uh, ask Doug to to okay. answer. Um, Doug. Where is the data stored? The person didn't quite catch, I think, what was what was said earlier on. But where is the data stored? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So there's two data storage centres um, in the UK. Um, one, like you mentioned, in the security part of the, the webinar. Um, one main data centre, they are replicating each other. So if there is any uh, issues or anything like that, you, we can instantly switch you to another data centre. But both based in the UK, I believe, Julian, probably have to help yep, you. Yeah, absolutely London, right. Is that right? Yeah, both both London Docklands based data centres. Um, mm. uh, so uh, from a GDPR perspective, very, very, very uh, mm. UK centric. Um, and at today, at least, we pretty much mirror the EU uh, data uh, regulations. I'm sure there's someone on the call that knows the GDPR better than I do, uh, but we, we pretty much mirror that as well. So, so you can be safe as UK-based lawyers. Certainly, that that's um, that, that that's the case. Right, folks. Well, we did say half an hour. It is just past uh, one thirty in the UK Greenwich Mean Time. Um, so, I'm going to uh, wrap this up and say thank you all very much for joining. Don't forget, we've got another webinar tomorrow on forms and forms integration. Uh, that is another example of, of where we've used a specialist forms provider and integrated it with Quill. You'll find that exciting if you don't already um, uh, use uh, integrated forms. Uh, on Wednesday, we're going to move over to um, uh, uh, talk about bundling, court bundling, and doing all that online. Uh, and on Thursday, legal payments. Legal payments, particularly increasingly important as interest rates goes up, getting your money in quickly um, is, is more and more uh, important. And again, if you want to come back and talk about security or listen more about security and, and uh, how to uh, keep your law firm safe and secure, then join us with the experts from Google on the 16th of November. Uh, same place, uh, one o'clock. Uh, on that on that particular day and we're going to have a great great webinar with some real experts thanks folks for joining us and uh, see you all next time bye 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 thank you